wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Big Papa before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Sure it is. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two, see the two of you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew! Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Big Papa, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at the club. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like... I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Oh no, the static is coming back. And I really do care about you. You know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Uh... With how me and how Natsuki is and everything, and you're being a little bit... You know... You're not a very good president anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Yeah, I tried to. I was going to write some poems that involved you, but it didn't give me the option. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only a couple, been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk with you about. Mamas! Hey! What are you chomping on? Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet! No! Whoa. <laughs> she was aware that the game was fading out. Mama! Stop chomping! Need to flip up the beam? Yeah. Uh, but they like when it gets all flat like that. Because every time I fluff it up, Jada goes and squishes it all back down. <laughs> Hold on. Making sure uh, I'm not missing anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, my phone's just been going off for... No one, no one matters. Okay. Um, death. Meager. Agonizing. Romance. Oh, shit. Whoa! Whoa! Look at one, 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 one out of 20. Uh. Laugh. He's <laughs> just negative. These are all gonna be Natsuki, though. Oh, no, that one's hers. Party, vivacious, misery. The ones keep getting bigger. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that? Uh, like seriously, right here, I picked something and someone else jumped out of screen. Uh Was that Sayori? Did no one else see that? I swear, someone clip it and go look. There's someone jumped right beneath my my webcam. Uh Friending. Alright, I'm gonna find- if one shows up that we know is Sayori, I'm picking it. Is that a bug? There's a Monica jumper! But she's off screen! Uh... Unrequited. Okay, now I'm gonna try to get some Monica stuff.
No, fuck. Happy, hopeless, smile, vertigo, silly, empty, chocolate, spinning. Analysis. Entropy, violent, universe, sensation, waterfall, lust. Fuck. All right, so it's Monica, and I could tell because it had her bow, her, her white bow. Hi, Big Papa. Yeah, uh, Monica was never one of the jumping beans. But that one, she was off screen. That was interesting. Hi, Big Papa. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I bought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to! Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me! But you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. Yeah. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing. Is it really that bad? See? It is something! I'll get over it. It's not even anything worth- anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. I sound like I really care anything. Such a brat. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Big Papa just, Big Papa just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh-huh. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, uh, right. I I forgot. Whoa, she just left. Um, about that Natsuki, we were all talking yesterday, and well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However. I understand how you feel about now why do you come to church? Mm. How do you change the title as a mod? Like the title of a stream? I don't know. Uh, I don't think you can do that as a mod. They ha You have to have a... What's it called? Uh, editor privileges to a channel? And then it would probably just be... Uh, Exclamation point title something. I don't know. I've never done it I understand how you feel about not wanting to the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way So as long as we're all working together this club will never become something we don't want Um. Also if you help us with the festival then I'll buy you a new manga See, when she's smiling like that, she's adorable. Sorry, that last, part, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about it yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the events suck just because I chose to back out. You know, so I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness, isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. Why does she look all depressed? It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Big Papa, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? Oh, maybe I should spend some time with Monica. It's actually really never giving me the option, though. That's correct. Also... The staging has changed a little bit. Either I'm overthinking it, or... Yuri has definitely been taking center stage. Or the center of the... 
whatever, the screen lately. And usually whenever Monica came into the screen, she took center. Big Papa is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Are you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I, I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Whoa! Holy fuck! Just, yes! Just freaked out. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. That was weird. What'd you send me, Yuri? <laughs> yep. Yep, I understand that. Can't delete my own message. Go to your own inner desk and change the URL to have their name instead of yours on top. Oh, the link was an accident but funny? Gotcha. I was wondering, I was like, that felt a little out of place, but it's still funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you have to uh, be editor permission. If it's not your own channel, you have to have editor permissions of a channel to change your title. Actually, I have a request. And uh, to do that, if you have the permissions, I don't know how to do beyond that. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Heck yeah, bring the tea. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. We've done this already. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch her as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind the water filters. Shit! Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also passes an electric kettle. I'm going to... I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. No, I don't like this. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves is really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, blah 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 blah. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Jam legs for days, blah blah blah. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Er, okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well go with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She says no. That's okay, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. And then she doesn't come back for ten minutes and bad things happen. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries off to the classroom. Huh? Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. I'm so confused. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. And then she doesn't come back for 10 minutes. Fuck! Bad Groundhog's Day. Hey, sleep well, Birch. Thank you for dropping in. Appreciate you being here, and hey, I hope you feel better soon. Get some sleep, drink your waters, take care of yourself. 10 minutes pass. Fuck. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. I don't want to relive this part. This part was awful. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be is the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I didn't like this part. We're skipping it, because we've been here. Sounds like breathing. Kyuh. Sharp inhale. Someone's sucking through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach out the corner and pay around it. Yuri, she's bleeding. Shit. Uh, I reach around the corner, sharp inhale, cut. Sounds like I'm making a noise, but the eyes. Ah, it was a place to I'm bored. I'm just waiting, holding up. It's pain in the past. Ah! Fuck, that was terrifying. She didn't have eyes in that one. All right, I'm going to do what Birch said earlier. Oh, it doesn't have it. Did you leave you again? No, it's not a thing. That oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. This is good, dear. God, what? the pictures are so scary, guys. Um, wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. It says I haven't before or anything, right? No, it totally has. My dad has been a little fussy lately. My hope hasn't really been showing. It hasn't been really showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. The music's gone. I mean... Oh no, it's getting dark again. Everyone has a few unusual things about them. I'm expressing those things so... Soon after meeting someone, it's usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. Why is the background fidgeting and being dark? At least that's what I discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. 
But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Big Papa. Is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? Yeah. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. Why did the music come in and then suddenly stop again? But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Oh. If you look at me like that, it makes me think you're crazy. That actually scares us looking into the screen, not expecting that. Right? Oh, that was creepy. Oh. There you go. Here he's got your back. Uh, I think she should go to the doctor. Yes, yeah, so, dude. I don't like when her she does. Oh, okay, now she looks even creepier. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Fucking. Can we just stay here for a while? Okay, she's back to normal. Yeah. Okay. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. Oh god. No, not with the eyeballs. She did this when we were in the closet. We can stay here until the club ends. Oh, stop with the human real people eyes. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Don't open your eyes and be empty. Oh my god. You guys probably can't see it, but if you look, there is a very low transparency or high transparency of Monica. And the only reason I saw that is because you can see out of Yuri's head, there's like the little bits of ribbon, and then you see her hair, and then her eyes are like, one of her eyes is on Yuri's nose, right between her nose and her mouth. Okay. I think Monica's the crazy one and she's doing something. Nobody can join up here with our reading time. Nobody to make me nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Fuck. <laughs> that was a joke. That was just a joke. I don't like I do like knives though. Okay. She's fading in. Do you guys see Monica fading in? Her eyes are pretty prominent now. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you'd never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I'll make sure to give them all their fair share of use. Eesh. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Wow, Yuri's starting to fade out now and... Oh, I don't like it. Nobody deserves to be lonely. I thought I was being clever in seeing a very faded out Monica, but she's fading in. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Big Papa. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. This is freaking me out. It's all we need. Oh, can you stop with the eyes? You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Whoa. Whoa. The eyes. Not to mention the other pathetic child. Can we walk home together every day after school? And read together? Eat together? Sleep together? Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? Whoa, Monica's showing up in front of the text. It's almost like it was fate. This is not okay. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get... The happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Big Papa? Well, who should I show my poem to first? <laughs> what is this game? Uh, ah, go away, Monica's right. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna show it to Yuri first. Did you see that? Monica was coming through your body. Finally. Uh, can you, did that just not happen? 
<laughs> Yuri holds my poem, or Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep.